everybody, it's Katie Jo. I'm on my way to my shaman class. I'm really excited. We're headed to a teepee and we're headed to Medicine Well on a labyrinth with the beautiful and generous Rachel Jones sharing her magical backyard with us. And I've been thinking a little bit about how right now in our day and age it's causing us to, in a lot of ways, be forced to a higher level of consciousness. And I'll explain to you why. Because we have collectively, as a people across the world, poisoned so much of our land. So we have poisoned our water, we have poisoned our earth, we are poisoning our plants, we're GMO. We are drinking soda, we are polluting the air. So all four elements that sustain us and give us light are actually being contaminated. And so we're seeing all of these autoimmune diseases that are coming out. We're seeing so much and we're seeing all of these things from vaccinations. I don't know, there's a back and forth on that. But what we can all agree upon is that whether you even mean to or not, if you're using shampoo, if you're eating food, if you're driving in a car or walking down the road, you are actually being exposed to toxins and chemicals that you were never exposed to before. And so because of that, we're seeing a huge, huge increase in illnesses. And how does that make us more conscious? Well, first of all, <laughs> You must, we must make conscious choices for health because if we don't make those conscious choices for health through exercise and diet and the way that we ingest things and what we ingest, we're already being poisoned by our environment. And so when we engage in anything beyond that, we're actually creating worse. Even people who think, like myself, for years I thought I was eating healthy and then in the last couple months, reading some new studies that have come out, I realized that I was actually causing my body damage by eating almost an entirely vegetarian diet. And this, that's neither here nor there. So right now we have created a time in our lives, in history, where we have to choose one or the other. And just sitting, sitting idly by, not only in health, but in so many other ways, by just sitting idle, because we're being bombarded with the internet, we're being bombarded by fake news, we're being bombarded by um, billboards and, and misinformation, sitting on the fence can't work anymore. You have to actually make a choice if you want to emotionally survive and physically survive. So I think it's pretty amazing that we have as souls chosen right now at this time in this time of history to be born at this time because we did it on purpose and we did it on purpose so that we would in a way be forced into a corner to making a decision as to who we are and what we're about so there's two cents